Hello there, and welcome to the table where we don't actually need these this week. Be gone, go away, shoo. You in particular, I, I, you know, I never like this one. It's just here because it can be. It's like, it's like the English. Anyway, yes, we don't need any of those today because today we're looking at something completely different. He says he leans across the table to grab a piece of equipment he's going to need later on. Spooky, yes, but it's a still a, uh, a blind box opening of things. Yes, I've got a box here. It's a... Uh, it's an Amazon box, there's not a return address on it that I can see, and it's not my address, so that's fine. My address was there, but now my address isn't there, so you can't see it anymore. Woo! Yes, what I have here is an eBay job lot of train stuff. Hornby, Lima, I, I don't actually know. Um, I brought this last week, and haven't looked at it since I've won the auction, so I've kind of forgotten roughly what's in here. So we're going to open this and we're going to have a look and uh, we'll, um, I know, the only thing I know for certain of one of the things is that we'll be needing that to see if it works and then I'll obviously surface it and use it, but I probably won't put that in the video because this is just an unboxing video. But without further ado, let's get on with it. And don't worry, there are cars to be done as well. In fact, there might already be cars on by the time this video goes live. I don't know. I just got to get them. With all the charity shops still being shot in the UK, getting my hands on cars at a reasonable and cheap-ish price is um, proving to be quite the challenge, which is one of the reasons that um, my content has dropped off a little bit in terms of um, new and quirky stuff to focus on things that I have on hand. You know, can, can you really blame me there? I, I don't blame me. Mind you, I'd never blame me for anything. So we've got lots of paper. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. I see. If I put that like that, as you can see, we have a bunch of paper packages. It's like Christmas. And knowing it's like Christmas, I'm going to start by pulling it all out like that. Yes. Yes. Get underneath the tree. Pidge, you're over there. Let's start with this one. Hmm. Ah. Of course, I could have brought a pair of scissors with me, but I didn't. I brought a knife, which isn't much good. Um, there's all going to be rolling stock and a few locos, but uh, that's all that's going to be in here. There's no scenery in this box. Ooh. The other box that's down there, which is the next video to be filmed, is uh, <laughs> going to be a bloody interesting one, because I don't even know what's in there. Ah, Here we go. We start with an English wagon. Probably triang. Quite dirty. Uh, snapped. Axle. Uh, a scrapper for certain. Not a bad wagon itself, bit of damage there. Pretty simple, looks like it's had stuff inside it. Very dirty. Looks like there's a dead spider there. Yeah, this is a scrapper. I mean, um, it's old. They, they're riveted on. They don't screw them in. They rivet them on here. But I could feasibly undo the rivets and recover these and put them on a different loco with the screw, which I might do. Otherwise, this is just a scrapper. And I am building scenery at the moment, so having things like this to scrap... Uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Paints up a bit, put it in the scrapyard. But, you know, there's a start. A scrap. Scrap wagon. Hmm. How about this wagon? Oh, this is weighty. I know what that is, so we're going to leave that for a bit. Let's go to here. I'm pretty sure I know what that is, based on the weight. Hmm. We like weight. Uh, there's possible there's other things that are damaged in here. As I said, I haven't really looked at it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's Santa Fe. Ah, it's a Santa Fe loco. 1957. Looks like that's been scribbled on quite badly, although it's just dirty. That's been scratched out. That was probably somebody's name. Weird axles. Look how tiny those wheels are. They're tiny and weird, weird connector. I don't recognize that. Is it broken? Don't think so. In itself, it's not a bad model. You know, it's an American loco. Look, it's even got a steering wheel. So it's, it's like a ship that you sail on the seas. Da, 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 da. Oh, we've been hit by a torpedo. We're dead. Um, it's a bit, I said, it's a bit, um, it's a bit, I don't know about the axles. They, they annoy me. I mean, it rolls. It's quite free rolling, actually. It's not awful at all. It's got quite a nice detail on it. It's got this ladder there, a bit rusty. It's got a wheel on both sides. I mean, it's not the worst thing I own. I don't think I'll ever use it. I'm just going to see if I can see if there's anything visible. No. No, we will never know who owned this before because somebody scratched it off, probably when they stole it from their mate. Although, oh, looking at it, actually, the uh, the axles are just screwed on, so you could feasibly replace them with something more pleasing. But, hey, 
it's a wheel. So, so be it. That's not terrible. What is this? This is our next box. No, not a box. It's a bag. It's a package. It's a cardboard paper, even though it's not cardboard. It's, it's very thick. You could call it cardboard paper, I suppose. I'm not going to, but you, you could. You could say, I've got some cardboard paper, and they'd be like, what? No, cardboard paper. You know, very firm paper. That's not cardboard, but might as well be. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah, this is actually something that I wanted. Um, oh, it's missing wheels. Well, I'm sure we can salvage some of those. But yes, this is something that I wanted. This is um, a Hornby Dublo style crane. Crane number 127. Missing its axle, well, its wheels, but I'm sure we can fix that. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some text. Made in England. Triang R127. So yeah, this is Triang stuff, which is fine. It's a crane. It's got its... Actually, it's got its hook, which is nice. It works. It's the second recovery crane I've got. These these little ones as well. I get the idea that you could use these in a, a dockyard setup uh, for just unloading things and loading and play in between. So I'll have to uh, I'll have to put a bit of lubricant on it because it's a bit a bit jaunty. But that's quite nice. I like that. Uh, get some axles on there. Or some wheels, axles, wheels, and uh, get that hooked up. Straighten that out, as it appears to be quite badly bent, but that's all right. We can do that. And, yeah, give it a clean, and that will be quite a nice little addition. Mm. You go over there on top of the scrapper, because, honestly, you... Yeah, you, you belong on the scrapper. All right, this long one's sitting here. I think I know what this one is, actually, which was another reason I brought this particular set, but I could be wrong. Oh, wait, yes, I do know what this is, and it's not what I just thought it was just now, but it's something completely different, and I'm quite pleased to have it. And it's related to something that we've looked at on the channel before. Because, of course, we've seen one of these before. Look, it's even got part of a price tag on the top. Uh, yep, this is Hornby. This is 1870 LNER. Yep, if you didn't know, this is one of the Flying Scotman's uh, teak-style coaches. I wanted to get a rake of three or four um, Scotsman-style coaches going. Uh, obviously, for that one that we have, we reviewed it back in January, I think it was. Uh, so, yeah, we've got that, and now I can have three of them going along. And yes, we can go choo-choo-choo-choo, and yeah, it's quite dirty. Um... Those axles are really dirty, although it does have both of it. uh, its connectors seem to be fine, which is nice. It's got its buffers, which is nice. I said, oh. <laughs> Seems to be a thing with all the uh, the wheels falling off on these models here. In fact, um, yes, all the wheels just keep falling off. I'm probably going to have to keep tabs on that. Let's move on to the next one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six packages left. Um, now, there are two logos in here. One, however, is a model, and I only realised that after I brought the listing. And it's a shame because it's a loco that I kind of really want to not be a model, but it is a model. This feels like the red one. Yes, there we go. This is, um, I want to say this is Joef. Joef? Lima! It's Lima with the funny Lima connections. Look at the funny Lima connections. Um, don't like that very much. I mean, it's very similar to the uh, broken one over there. Um... Don't like the connection. It's very plastic. I mean, it's, it's all right. It goes, stops. It's another box car that uh, I don't need, but I've got. And that's better than a kick in the teeth. So there we go. That's a Lima. Well done to Italy. Italians, people in that country. You've made something that I am vaguely interested in. Oh, yes. I've just had a delicious Chinese takeaway. And I'm rather reveling in the fact that I have energy. I've been at work all day, so it's always nice to have a good takeaway to, you know, remind the fact that I'm fat and, ooh, very yellowed. Now, this one is Joe F slash Playcraft, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yep, there you go, Joe F on the bottom there. We are also missing a wheel. However, uh, I have a lot of Joe F um, wagons and things like that laying around. Uh, and the Playcraft, because I genuinely like it. This is HO scale, incidentally, so it's a bit smaller than uh, the other things we've been looking at. Uh, as I genuinely like their running, and you can convert them as well by unscrewing them. So, yeah, I, I haven't got one of these box ones before. It's very yellowed. I might try and unyellow it at some point. But it does have its original stickers. A seven ton van. Shame it's missing its wheel, but again, that seems to be a thing with this... Uh, this job lot. I quite like that. So I'm going uh, to try and put that... Uh, back together in one piece in good time. 
Right, this thing now. Wow, I have sliced the sellotape. This is well badly packaged. This next one, I'm expecting things to just be thrown in a box. I'm not expecting any packaging on it whatsoever. Um, I mean, the packaging for this was like nine quid, whereas the packaging for the other one was about three. The other one's like twice as big. Anyway, oh, this is a small wagon. Yes, look, it's the XP wagon. It is the World of Warcraft XP, 13 ton. How this is 13 ton and that box wagon is seven ton, I don't know. Now, as you can see, it was three or eight pounds at some point. Doesn't particularly matter. It's not removed very well. Made in England, rusted axles, old style connectors. Yeah, this will be trying again. It's all right. It, it never hurts to have um, more of these sort of wagons laying around. They're always quite pleasant just to have, so I quite like that. Can't help but think that maybe it should have had a roof on, but that might just be these connecting in as well. You could quite easily put like a coal load in there and just make it look quite nice. Hell, you could put a bunch of people having an orgy in there and it would look quite nice. You can, however, use it to mark the box. Mm. So we've got three things left now, so I'm just going to yeet the box over there. Yes. I said, that's definitely the loco because it's heavy, so... I don't know what these two are. I know what one is, but I don't know what the other one is. So we're about to find out what the other one is. Mmm, the other one. This one. Are you what I think you are? Yeah, I know what this one is. I believe this may be the other locomotive model kit. Yeah, oh wait, no, this is a body shell. Oh, that'll be why I thought it was a locomotive body kit. This is a Triang. British Railways livery shunter of some kind. Don't know what shunter this is meant to be, but it is trying. I suppose this will go on a um, an 04 chassis. I don't know. Yeah, it's missing its buffers. It's been painted quite badly, but it is there. That's not terrible. Um, I might try and find something to put that on. I said you probably put that on, a, again, an 04 chassis. And it'll probably look quite nice. A little diesel shunter. I quite like diesel shunters. So, hey, that's a good thing, which means that the last two things we have to look at, technically the last three things, because that is technically a locomotive, are locomotives. Mm. Now, I said I didn't realise this was a... Um, this particular one was a model kit until after I brought it and re-looked at the auction one last time. I was like, oh. Um, which is a shame, because as a loco, this would be awesome, but at the same time, maybe I can... Cust I can't turn it into a thing just looking at it. Ooh, that's very, very plasticky over there, paper. Hmm. Yeah, this is a Kitmaster, you know, 060 diesel shunter. Uh, as there's no base, that is practically impossible to um, power in any way, shape, or form. So this is just the sort of thing you have on a siding looking pretty, although, let's be fair, it's, uh, it's not done very well. I mean, whoever's done it has done a... Fair enough job, the same sort of job I do, but uh, it's not really very good, is it? I mean, it would have looked good. It hasn't even got connectors. You know, it can't even shunt the old Santa Fe thing around. No, it's... Uh... There you go. I made a double-decker shunter, and the concept has failed miserably, just like my life and YouTube career. Ah, I love reality. Shit. Um, okay, so I've just smacked the crane and that, um, thankfully nothing else, and possibly damaged what I've got in here, which will really annoy me. I probably shouldn't be throwing this around, because this is quite heavy, uh, and this is an old model, this is uh, 1960s-ish, 60s to 70s, but yeah, more 60s. Um, and I have wanted one of these for a little while, so when the job lot appeared, it's like, you know what, I'm going to buy that. I'm quite pleased to say that I have got one of these now. And indeed, this is the Triang Dock Authority Shunter. A, a lovely little locomotive that I can already see has some brown wiring there, meaning that it's not going to work at all. So I'm going to have to get the soldering iron out to fix it. Um, in quite nice condition, actually. There, there's nothing besides that wire right there. There doesn't appear to be anything particularly wrong with it. Uh, the wheels are somewhat clean. The body is actually pretty good. It's got all its buffers. It's got its connectors. Hmm, that's not awful. Now, I know I just said that it, I can literally see a wire, but we do have to um, test it, of course. What kind of uh, enthusiast, amateuristic idiot would I be if I did not uh, at least test the model? Uh, uh, but I have the feeling I'm going to have to get the soldering iron out on this one and possibly the tool kit as well. We might have quickly open it up just to see if we can... Um, 
just to see if we can get anything. There we go. Yeah, it's turned on, it's plugged in, but as to be expected, there is nothing because the uh, the wires have gone. Jump cut. Oh, I say, I decided to go and grab my screwdriver kit. You know, I only brought this like three weeks ago and all the screwdrivers are there and now I've lost almost all of them. Um, Let's see. These have been replaced, so let's, uh, how do I take this off? Probably I'll screw this and this, so let's just, uh, ooh. Nope, that one is just part of the bodywork, so we'll, uh, we'll sit that one back in. Yes, Pidge, you are a bird who is making a lot of noise in the background of my YouTube video right now. Say hello to your glorious fans, Pidge. I'm sure there's somebody out there who watches the video just to hear you coo. You know, your commentary is probably far more interesting than mine ever was. I don't want to unscrew those two because I'm pretty sure they just connect to the uh, the chassis has said that. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be this one, which is a Phillips head. But it looks like somebody has been in there as well. I mean, obviously somebody will have been in here. This train is a billion years old. Uh, 1960s. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I'm just looking inside through the back window, and it kind of looks fairly clean in the back window. So maybe it won't be so bad, but uh, getting it out is, seems to be a little bit beyond me right at this second. I don't really want to... Uh, ooh, yeah, we don't want to force anything. There's going to be... Uh, something there that I'm missing that would be that massive effing screw down there I always I always badly miss these things it's not the first time that I've just missed the most blatantly obvious bally thing oh, I didn't even need to take that front bit off right let's have a quick look oh there we go so yeah all that's happened is um this cable here has disconnected from here that's a very quick soldering job there's a light in the front which is nice uh I have a replacement light and I have replacement LEDs. What we'll do quickly is we will just um, see if there's any life in this at all by plugging in one source of power here and the other one. Uh, there we go. So there's light. I've, I've seen the motor attempting to spin there. Uh, there we go it's uh it's trying it's trying its damnedest which is all i want let's uh put that there i mean the light works you know power's going through i can see it's trying its damnedest right now Hmm. Well, yeah, if I sold that all together and um, apply some, uh, what's the word, lubrication, we'll probably be able to get that going and it'll probably be a nice little runner. So, yeah, a little bit of work needed on that, but not terrible. You know, I, I like learning these things, so I'll get the soldering iron out and do that in my own time. That is, It's quite a free spinner, although it, it just doesn't want to spin there, which is... Uh, I suppose a bit worrying. I mean, I suppose I could just be uh, not actually applying any power to the motor and just running it directly through the metal that this is connected to. But uh, I doubt that's what's happening. Oh, well. That's the dockyard shunter. So that comes to the end of uh, what I've picked up on eBay in this particular job lot. Uh, I said I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that later, probably tonight after I finish filming this video. But for now, I think that's 20 minutes of your time wasted and 20 minutes of my time wasted. So thank you very much for joining me today. I do rather hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, I've got uh, more train content on the way, one way or another. I mean, I know Sam's trains, but I do like to make stupid videos. I again, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like what you've seen. Tell me what you do like.
Don't like? You remember having one of these as a kid? You'd be pretty old at this point, but it's quite possible. Let me know what your thoughts of them are. I think this is one of the best models of the time period, just because, look at it, it's adorable. And I'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.